Hey, hey, hey! It's Sweet Pea again, and welcome back to part 5 of Hung Guys Dynasty Warriors Free Campaign! And let's see what he's up to this time. Battle at Yi Ling. Ah, Wu Zun. The Shu army has encamped on the banks of Changjiang. It's time. Spread the word. Not smell dog. At midnight, we move to the river to face the Shu army. But why not now, sir? Yes. I want to enjoy the view. This battle shall surely decide the fate of Shu and Wu. Zhuge Liang! The wind! Push him off! If only he could. Have a scenic romantic game, Wu Zun. Alright, so it looks like this time we are fighting Shu, our previous allies at Chi D. I wonder what happened to break down the relationship. After Cao Cao leads his giant navy south to Tanjiang, Sun Quan and Liu Bei head to meet him at Chi Di. Despite being outnumbered, the strategies of Zhou Yu and the allied forces proved successful, preserving the peace of Changjiang. Oh great, the strategies of nearly losing and only having Xiao Yun help the rear guard prove successful, yes. Previously, Wu had joined forces with Shu in order to oppose Wei, but relations sour as Wu plots to take back the Jing province. Infuriated, Liu Bei refuses to return the province and readies his troops for war. Sounds like Wu getting kind of greedy there. The Shu army takes its position at Yi Ling, the length of their forces reaching over 700 miles in length. Wow. The Wu strategist Lu Zhu earnestly waits for an opportunity, and in the year 222, gives the order to go to war. That's uh, this overreaching your army and then the 700 miles. Wow. I don't think Shoot had that many forces. <laughs> Guess they do. Anywho, let's see who's on the teams today. So, for Wu, it's once again Sun Quan, and once again, we are one of his sub officers. When will I beat my own officer again? I deserve promotion after what I did at Chi Di. There's Gan Ning. Thankfully, on our side again. And there's Lu Zhu. Our strategist who came who's gonna come up with all the plans for today's battle. Nurse Shun Shang Jiang. Gonna see her in action for the first time. Nurse Wu Meng. And Cheng Pu. Alright, and for Shu, we have Lu Bei. Huh. First time we're gonna fight Wu Bei in battle. We fought alongside Wu Bei somewhat, but we've never actually fought Wu Bei. It's always been Zuge Liang in the past. Now we're going to get our first crack at Wu Bei. There's the Honorable Ma Xiao. He'll be opposing Gan Ning. There's Xiao Yun, the competent backup. And now, hopefully, the not as competent enemy. <laughs> and there's Huang Zong. Now his own officer. Get to see him again. And there's Wei Yang. Looks like he's going to be our first victim today game out the way as quickly as possible. Hopefully as quickly as we did with Shahu Doom. And Hong Kwan with a sub officer called Shimo. It's an interesting name. So let's check the battle conditions. Pretty standard. Feet Wu Bei. Let Sun Kwan live. Do odd. Hopefully. <laughs> Sadly, no third tier weapon yet, but hopefully we will acquire that on this mission. Item wise, didn't really get any new items, so I'm gonna stick with red hair, defense, bow defense, or what can full attack. And bodyguards pretty much just stick the same as the spear. Alright, 90 minute mission, let's go. <coughs> let's see what Wu Zun's great plan is. Hopefully we'll be more competent for this time. Ooh, life is beat. We will end okay. this feud with Shu now. You started this feud, didn't you? The entire army will follow Lu Jun's lead. Oh, first up. You were. We meet again, we on. Once again, I shall beat you up like last time. Let's put my horse over here. 
You leave my bodyguard alone, you. I'm not going to defeat it that easily. Ah, oh, man. Oh. Whoa, no, 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 no. No, we're not having this way up. We're not having this. Simply unacceptable. Take your beating like a man. Uh oh, you might use his music in a second. Nope. Gotcha. And we got a weapon. And once again, Weyon proves no challenge whatsoever. <laughs> and we take him out of the equation very early. Great! Right, let's waste no time. Let's go get this gate captain over here. Get things moving, because we're gonna be we're gonna be asked to do a certain something in a minute in this mission. As per Luzun's strategy. So let's see if we can take out the gate captain before he asks us to do that. Use my music now just to get a clear shot at him. Okay. Come here, you. We have business with me! Do not interfere, pesky guards. No, I don't want to get him in the air. But I guess I'm forced. <laughs> I have to hit him. Master Juge Leon must be there. They're just standing around. That's not a formation, that's idling. There can be no mercy. No. Send a message to Zuron's unit. We will burn the Shu army as planned. Oh, here we go. We better get moving. Right. Get off me. Thank you. Right, gate captain out the way. We must now help Zuron's unit. Because this is part of Wu's great strategy. We're going to use, believe it or not, fire. Anyone surprised? I'm not. <laughs> Something about Wu and using fire attacks. First Chibi, now Yi Ling. I swear Wu does have a license to arson in every mission. But we do have to help Zuron or else the attack will fail. So let's go over there and assist. And obviously on the Shu side you will defeat Zuron so that the attack fails. But in this case, Zhang his name, Zhang Bao. Wasn't he a sub officer of Hilton once upon a time, or is that a different guy? Anyway, the fire attack show succeed. I don't think it succeeds if you don't do anything, though. I think you have to interfere, or else it will fail for the most part, but I'm not exactly sure. I could be. Get off me, you fag. Die! I'm so sick of those guards. Come on, dude. Come on. And he's out of here. <laughs> too, oh, too easy. Right. Zhang Bao's troop is done. Mm, I'll just stick around just to make sure that no one accidentally wipes him out. These guards are pretty tough after all. Let's make sure he's super clear. I might just be being a bit overcautious here, but sod it. Come on. Get out of my way. Eat this. Taste the rod. Let me stop here. Fight over here. Come on, Zuran. Ah, oh, come on, Yanning. Hold out. I'm gonna help you in a bit. Damn. Wow, he's having trouble with these guys. <laughs> the guy they were guarding has long since expired. Oh well. Take him out. Get out of the way. I get some help. No, I don't want that clown horse. Alright, that should do. I think he'll be okay now. He's gonna head over to the camp. So we need to get back to the main area of the battlefield. Go help Gan Ning, I think. Hmm. Where's any other gates we'll have to blow off? No. There is another target though. One zing aside. Let's go find Xiao Yun. The honorable and mighty Xiao Yun. Probably considered the. Probably, probably considered on the same. Oh my god, all these fences in the way. I have to find a way through the fences. Xiaoyun is probably considered on the same tier as Wu Fu, actually. Watch my 
He apparently held off a million men himself at one point, and was one of the very few people to retire from the battlefield peacefully. Old Shao Yoni apparently retired as a monk when the battling was done. Well, you helped us a lot last time. Now I shall help you die. It's a shame, really. He would have been a great ally for Wu, but, you know. We want to be all greedy and power hungry. Oh no, oh no, don't catch us. Good hard. I don't. Oh no! Damn those fucking guards! Guards! Damn guards again, man. Ugh. No, you don't. Ooh, we managed to catch him somewhat. What a block that was. What this entire Muzu combo. Oh, he might use his Super Muzu in a minute. You need to be careful. I can handle him one on one. Oh. Oh, here it is. Super Muzu. And he's out of here. Nice try, Shaoyun, but you lose this time. Death. In battle. Is. Honorable. Indeed it is. Well, that's show you now the equation. Excuse me. Don't fall behind. Oh, it's oh no no. For fuck's sake! I just took out Xiao Yun. Don't ruin it by having these pests annoy me. Get out of the way. Ugh. It's always cute how guards hang around in Volver Masters deceased. What are we guarding? I don't know. <laughs> We're just guarding Xiao Yun, just in case his ghost comes back from the dead. It's a good thing guard captains don't resuscitate health, eh? <laughs> Get off. Oh, what? 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 After all that? After all my hard work, Xu Wan still fucks up? Ah. Oh. Well, I guess we're not going to get a fire attack today, then. Great. So much for that. Due to interference from the incompetent Wu, the Wu strategy failed again. And then Sheng Pu decided to get wiped out to rub it in. <sighs> Man. I swear, can Wu not do anything right? This is just embarrassing now. And now they're going to have a shit ton of forces heading our way. You see, I should have been promoted to Grand Officer by now. This happened in Wei, see, but you got promoted. This happens in Wu. Sun Quan leads yet another army. And they still have no good people. Strategy, yes. Can't wait to have enough defense to get back at those fucking sergeants. No, Sergeant, I'm not having any Get out of my way. Now! I was looking forward to that fire attack as well. Well, I guess we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, just bludgeon everything in our path. What's up then? Alright. I think it's Machao next, so let's get him. We're going to have to wrap this up a bit quicker now, because that was a major morale loss. Sheng Pu and the fire attack failing. So next up, Match out again. You who trouble the land, I shall oppose you. I hate to admit it, but I feel like I'm fighting on the side of the warmongers here. I mean, Shu technically were only defending what was theirs to begin with. It's not like Wu had a claim. I mean, it says it did in the introduction, but I'm not buying it. I reckon Wu just got greedy. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Wu are just greedy buggers. And as a result, all of their strategies fail because justice prevails. Something like that. Okay, match now out. Doesn't matter though. It's always good to be on evil side. Ah, he's using his uh, charge attack to try and break my guard. And he's using his fifth attack, but to no avail. He's down and out. I die with no regrets. No regrets. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, where's my horse? And Guan Su is retreating. 
I would normally kill all these guys and sort of get more points, but in the context of the battle, we don't have time for that. So we'll let them pull back and we'll carry on up this way. So Mad Shao's out the picture. That should free up Gan Ning, hopefully, in a, in a while. And now we're going to have to take on the forces of Shu head on. Since the fire attack was going to give us the attack, the chance to go on the offensive, but because Zhu Ron couldn't handle himself, even though I took out the main office of bugging him, so I have no idea what wiped him out in the first place, and I guess I should have stuck with him the entire time. Now, we have to do this the hard way, as per usual. Always the hard way, never the easy way. Sigh. Oh good, more incompetence. It's only a sub-officer this time, not the main one. I misdirect my attack, so... No! No! Fuck off! Damn guards again! Gang is going around to have a free heal up. Gives like a pack, I break his guard. That's good. What extra attack for us to break generic officer's guard here? Get out of here. Scoot. Yes. Alright, Guan Xing's troops eliminated. And of course, there has to be a guard captain immediately on my ass. How far are we into this battle? Hmm, I think we got a few more minutes to go. I suppose. It's like a giant clusterfuck in the middle of the map at the moment. Alright, who's next? Right, let's go help out Shun Shang Jiang. She seems to be only up okay over there. Pretty ice weird. We get on our horse. We can. Alright. Oh, shut up, Blue Meng. I'm not going to save you. I want to help Shun Shang Jiang. We must help the pretty lady. Until reinforcements come. Better stand strong. Hmm. Oh, I thought we could sneak around the gap. Damn. Damn this confusing way out. What is the point of this earlier? It's just designed it's just designed to trap me. No bodyguards. How what? My own bodyguards deflect my horse? This is the most powerful horse. I should be knocking them aside. What is this madness? Uh, see if we can help Shun Shang Jiang. Like last time, we were relying on the rear guard to do most of the work. Shang Pu didn't survive long, but it Shang Shang Jiang, hopefully will. Gotta get over there fast. Not how I envisioned this mission going down. Hmm, Kong Zong's on his own, so this shouldn't be too difficult. I will serve until my death. Alright, so you got about two minutes left then. Hope you enjoyed serving Shu, buddy. Oh, he's not even fighting Shun Shang Jiang, he's fighting Zhu Ran! How did you fail? You're not even dead! You failed in spite. Oh, I, I, I don't, I don't give a shit anymore. You know what? I'm not even gonna ask for an explanation. I'm just gonna chalk this down to Wu sucks, big time. You failed your fire attack, even though you're not wiped out. Or anything. Come on, when we kill with an hour, when we. Oh. I want to kill him with an hour. Till the end. Well, I want to kill him. I'm not getting my kill stole by you, buddy. Well. <laughs> Once again, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Alright, Huang Zong's troop is out of here. <coughs> Good job. Good job. Ah, Yan Yan. Come back. Yay. Yan Yan scourge of Wu Zhang planes has disappeared. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back for part two.